Hello, welcome to Cinephile Entertainment. I'm a Cinephile Critic and today I'll be reviewing this movie. Can you do that? Yeah, with the right white man, we can do anything. Black K Klansman. So Black K Klansman is directed by Spike Lee and stars John David Washington as Ron Stallworth, Adam Driver as Flip Zimmerman, Laura Herrier as Patrice, Jasper Pacon as Quan True, and Toffa Grace as David Duke. Black K Klansman. So Black K Klansman, so what you have is Ron, and he's going to be the first black Colorado policeman. And he is entered into the force, you know, he's asked some peculiar questions and, you know, he accepts all that comes with it. The first thing he is assigned to is to basically be an undercover police officer in this um, black union meeting. This particular guy is, has been invited by the black union of, I think it's the Colorado University, to speak. So the police feel that he's very dangerous. He's a very uh, competent speaker. He's one of those speakers that has, you know, passion and that can, you know, get the crowd riled up. You know, the police officers, you know, now are fearful of this particular speaker because of his authority. So they want to keep an eye on him. He goes and that's where he meets Patricia. And Patricia is, and um, you know, it's coming through the 70s. She's very, very militant. She's very black power. Ron gets transferred to, to intelligence and while reading the newspaper he realises that there's an advertisement for the KKK and he concocts this plan of him talking on the phone to them because he can talk white and it's Adam Driver and he's flip but he's he plays Ron when uh, he meets the clansmen and the actual Ron he uh, you know will speak on the phone so he will talk to David Duke, they can't tell that he's black, but when they meet him, they see a white person, so they have the name to the face, and they try to basically infiltrate the clan and diminish them, at least in Colorado, at least anyway. I'll say is this film is extremely political. If you're not interested in the whole thing about race, if you're one of these people like, why can't we all get along? And X, Y, and Z, then this film is just not gonna be for you. You know, if you're tired of that, you know, talking point that is happening in the media for the last few years, then this film is going to annoy the hell out of you. If you are one of those people who are about, you know, black empowerment, black liberation and stuff like that, then you're probably going to like this film. If you are somewhere in the middle, I think some parts may irritate you, some parts won't. And if you're if you're one of those people who just likes to be informed about, you know, uh, you know, certain other situations outside of yourself, and you know, you'd like to know how, you know, what the opposite group is feeling or what the the other side is feeling, and have like a sort of balanced view, then you might actually really like this film. It is very biased in its portrayal, and it's trying to be. It's not one of those ones that's trying to be politically correct. It's not one of those ones that's trying to be balanced. It's not one of those ones that's trying to tell the story and then you grasp whatever you can or you analyze whatever you can from the story and come up with your own conclusion. No, no, no. This is a particular film in your face unapologetically about black liberation. Speaking points in this film where you will have what white supremacy do, you will have black empowerment doing as well. So you will have the talking points of white supremacy and you will have the talking points of black empowerment and that is what this film is. I actually really like this film. This film is at some point written really funny. <laughs> I'm there. <laughs> at some point this film is actually funny but in order to get through to that point I feel that in the first act the story is kind of like it's trying to find its footing it's trying to find its path wasn't sure what type of film this was even as the film was going because the first thing that ron was doing was infiltrating you know a black space as it reaches that particular point the film then starts to find its rhythm and the rhythm works in this film now the pacing within the film does dip because 
you know, just like with any political drama, or whatever, you have parts that are much more intriguing than other parts. That's the same thing with this film. Spike Lee directed this film. For the most part, I think he directed it very well. I love um, the tone. I love the textures. I love that color palette that they have in this film. It does remind me of the 70s. I like the fact that they had Birth of a Nation in this film and that film was talked about on a smaller scale. Triumph of the Will is one of the films that um, Hitler did when he was alive. Studying at university, one of my models, we were looking at Triumph of the Will and the way how the opening act is. And that opening act is praised. That Triumph of the Will is still talked about in cinema because of some of the techniques that it displayed that had never been seen before Triumph of the Will did it, of the benchmark of what it did in effects and, you know, in, in scope. Now, one film that does not get talked about is Birth of a Nation, and Birth of a Nation was for a, a first of many things. It was the first blockbuster, it was the first propaganda film, and people just don't want to talk about it. I was just like, why? <laughs> it has its importance in cinema, and I'm so glad that Spike Lee took the time to actually put Birth of a Nation in this film and talk about what Birth of a Nation was. And as much as people try to hide it now, it still has, it's still done a benchmark in films that I feel that still needs to talk about when you talk about propaganda piece, just like Triumph of the World is a propaganda piece. People talk about that, they won't talk about Birth of a Nation. People talk about Jaws becoming, you know, a, a blockbuster. You know, it kind of revitalised what a blockbuster is and, you know, having that whole summer thing. Yeah, well, Birth of a Nation was the first one to do so. <laughs> and people don't talk about Birth of a Nation. I like the fact that Spike Lee had the audacity to put this in here. That's what I said. This film is unapologetic um, in terms of its views and its political alliances and where it lies. It's just, it's, it's unapologetic. And because it's unapologetic, it actually works in terms of what Spike Lee was trying to do. Things I will say that I did not like about this film is the Klansmen, the, the, the KKK. I just feel that, it, I feel that some of them, yes, they can be dumb, just, just trash people. But I also, I don't think that there was enough caution given to what the Klans people are. I feel that they are treated as though they are just, ignorant people like they have no brain and personally that is not true they are in all areas of life that type of talking point was missing it you know the clansmen in, in some in this case just becomes a joke there's a misconception of what what white supremacy looks like and i feel that they just went with a stereotypical version of what white supremacy looks like if you're gonna go for in your face black power type of film, then the opposition, you're going to have to talk about the seriousness of it and not just reduce it to stereotypical white men or these versions of the stereotypical white men that are white supremacy. I personally think the actor that stood out to me is Adam Driver. He was amazing. Like Every time he was on screen, he just brought it. Um, I was surprised. <laughs> I've seen one of these film. I was surprised at how good he is in this film. And he really makes this film. He makes this film work. And I thought that if it was a different guy that was doing this character, it wouldn't come off as well as it did. And I thought that Adam Driver just killed this role. I like the dynamic between Ron and Patricia because of, you know, the whole political activism. You know, what is the best way of liberating fairness to black people? Is it through marching on the streets, protesting on the streets, or is it putting yourself in a position of power to have influence to, you know, affect change? And I feel that the way how Spike Lee used their dynamic to bring up this question, I thought was really, uh, it was well done. They have the same cause in their hearts, 
but the way they are attacking it is differently. I thought that that was an interesting aspect that he brought up. I actually enjoyed it. You know, you hear both sides of the fence and you hear both sides in the extreme of what they want. This film is directed very well. I love the cinematography on this film. I love the colour palette. There's certain things that could have just been done a little bit better, especially with the Klansmen. I wish they had focused more of the David Dukes and those types of people. In a, in a film like this, it probably would be hard because he wouldn't have had access from the police officer, wouldn't have access to those types of people. But still, I think they should have been some people in suits that are like this instead of people who go to bars and, you know, the stereotypical stereotype, you know, white supremacist people. I will give this film eye for intriguing. I felt that there's bits in here that if you are into these types of films you're going to like. There's a few things that will annoy you. The pacing is not so great um, in certain areas. However, those are just in, in a small few places. Overall, I thought that Spike Lee directed this film wonderfully. Like the themes that were coming out in this film more than maybe how they arise. Some of them he tackled very well and some of them I feel that it could have been done better. Oh, what do you think about it? Let me know below. Let's get this conversation started and thank you for watching my review. If you liked what you saw, please click and subscribe. If you can darling, it, wait, just give me a moment. I'll think about it. Then hopefully I will see you again. And remember, until next time, keep safe. Bye.